I'm just gonna cut right to the chase with this one. In this anime, the main character gets caught up in a bus hijacking between terrorists and an orange juice themed superhero, gets his body stolen and turns into a ghost, meets a ghost cat that tasks him with saving the world, and then proceeds to accidentally end all life on Earth after seeing two different girls' panties. And all of this happens within the first 10 minutes. I beg your pardon? This glorious piece of art is called Punchline, and it's a comedy, mystery, supernatural, etchy, sci-fi anime produced by MAPPA back in 2015, the same studio that's currently animating every single shonen series to have ever existed. And if a high-profile studio like MAPPA isn't enough to sell you on this, then perhaps you'll be excited once you hear that this was written and created by Kotaro Ichikoshi, prolific video game director who's worked on the Zero Escape series and wrote both AI The Somnium Files games. You watch weird videos when I'm not around, don't you? Weird videos? Something about cuckoldry? Needless to say, Punchline had quite the stacked team working on it, and if you read the title of this video that totally isn't clickbait in any way, you might be wondering how it managed to fall off the face of the earth. In truth, it's mostly because it's been nearly 8 years since it came out and has been banished to the seasonal anime Void, an unfortunate reality a majority of anime face. Hell, the only video of the opening animation I could find on YouTube had 700 views and it wasn't even in 4K or shittily rendered in 60fps, so that's how you know this shit is underground. Also, for the love of god, please stop posting anime openings to YouTube in 60fps, it always looks like dog shit. The point is, I'm certain a lot of you have never heard of Punchline, which is a shame as it's one of my all-time favorite anime. And before the comments come pouring in telling me that Punchline isn't that unpopular and I'm over-exaggerating, you'd be right, but how else am I gonna clickbait you into watching? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Punchline sounds stupid and weird. I mean, he sees some girl's panties and then the world explodes? Talk about bad writing. How could this guy possibly have this as one of his favorites? Also, I bet this guy is ugly. And first off, that last comment was totally unnecessary and rude. I mean, why would you even think that, you asshole? But secondly, Punchline works as well as it does precisely because of how weird it is. But to fully understand what makes Punchline so great, we first have to look at how it came to be in the first place. As I previously mentioned, Punchline is an anime created by MAPPA, which may come as a shock to you if you're a relatively newer fan of the studio. Nowadays, MAPPA absorbs themselves in adapting as many sequel series and shonen manga as possible. But there was once a time where their objective was to create fresh and original works, as the founder of MAPPA, previously a co-founder of Madhouse, believed they were getting too corporate and wanted to create an environment with more creative freedom. It's because of this philosophy that shows like Saranzamai and Zombieland Saga came to be, and if you've ever seen either of those anime, you'll know that they're not only super experimental in their plots and presentation, but they're also downright weird. And because of this desire to be as creative as possible is how we ended up with Punchline. Punchline was originally pitched as a story about a ghost who cannot see panties to avoid killing humanity, and as the name suggests, the entire concept of the story was started as a means to set up the punchline to that one specific joke. In Kotaro Ichikoshi's own words, Humanity dies is like the satirical answer a girl might give you if you asked what happened if a boy saw their panties. And it's this central theme that the entire story of Punchline shapes itself around. If it isn't obvious already, Uchikoshi wanted to satirize fanservice in anime, stating, Nosebleeds in anime are used to comically indicate that blood is rushing to the head, that you're so excited it's hurting you. In Punchline, the joke is that it's taken to the extreme, as the protagonist's excitement doesn't just cause a nosebleed, it causes the apocalypse. And the name Punchline is a joke in and of itself, as it was not only used in reference to the punchline of penny shots ending humanity, but because it sounds similar to the Japanese word panchira, referring to the brief glimpse of a woman's underwear. Bet you weren't expecting a Japanese lesson, huh? Taking all of this into account, all Punchline sounds like is one big excuse to show panty shots with nothing else of substance going on, but that couldn't be any further from the truth. What makes Uchikoshi's writing so genius is how it takes such a ridiculously weird concept and molds it into something that's captivating. Uh, 
I can explain. Constantly elevating its narrative with each passing episode while ensuring it never loses that initial quirkiness that drew the audience in to begin with. The plot synopsis of, if he sees a girl's panties the world explodes that I've repeated in this video at least 50 times now is only one little tiny sliver of the overarching story. And attempting to explain what the series is actually about without spoiling anything would be damn near impossible, as each episode is basically an entire anime's worth of plot on their own. It's also a story that exists within multiple different genres and doesn't feel out of place in any of them. It's a hilarious comedy that never loses its comedic charm because of the absurd premise it's built upon. It's an intriguing mystery story as Yuta, the main protagonist whose name I somehow haven't said yet, is constantly seeking answers on how to retrieve his body and save the world at the same time. It's a great supernatural story because, well, well because it's literally about a ghost, and it's a steamy, edgy, for quite obvious reasons I would hope I don't need to spell out for you. And the final genre punchline mainly exists in is science fiction, and is the main offender for why explaining the plot wouldn't make any sense. Punchline is a science fiction story because time travel is the primary plot device, as anytime Yuta accidentally ends humanity by getting too horny, he has to travel back in time and start all over again. You could genuinely make an argument for all the other genres Punchline potentially exists in as well. I was even debating on considering this a superhero anime as multiple superheroes are integral to the plot. If you really want to stretch it, you could even say it's a Maho Shoujo anime, or an adventure anime. The list goes on and on. Perhaps this is a side tangent, but I don't know where else to include this, so here goes nothing. I read this book back in middle school that feels like a fever dream, as all I can remember about it is that a secret organization was chasing after the young main character. Rockets were involved, I think at least, and the name of the book was in German, I think. But what I remember most about the book was how absurdly weird it was. The locations would change from the main character's house to the school within a blink of an eye, and the plot got incredibly convoluted for a children's book to be honest. But the most important takeaway I got from that book is that it was creative, and I vividly remember getting lost in my own imagination and creating bizarre scenarios in my mind because of it. And Punchline feels exactly like someone's random daydream in visual form. One second we're following Yuta as he's gathering clues on how to regain his body with a talking cat, and the next a fight breaks out between a mecha and a terrorist organization. It's practically just one big fever dream, but it's one I don't want to be woken up from. Now if you're super lost and don't know what I'm even talking about anymore, I really don't blame you. As the title of this video suggests, this is one of the weirdest anime out there. But to me, it's weird in the best way possible. Punchline is a celebration of all things anime, as it isn't afraid to get lost in its own silliness and embrace what makes the entire medium unique. I would say Punchline is a perfect balancing act between all of its genres, tones, and ideas it presents, but I feel like they'd be doing it a disservice. Instead, I think it's way more appropriate to say that all of these things were tossed into a blender and turned onto the highest setting, creating this chaotic mess, but it's a mess that Punchline can call its own. I mean, where else are you going to find a time-traveling ghost, a juice-themed superhero, and this girl who looks like Velma from Scooby-Doo? No, not you. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, all I can really say now is that if anything I've said about the show sounds intriguing, then I really hope you'll give it a watch. Even if the idea of panty shots being integral is a massive turnoff for you, I would still highly encourage you give it a chance because who knows? Perhaps you might enjoy the tongue-in-cheek approach to fan service, not too dissimilar to how Kill a Kill does it. I actually started re-watching Punchline for the sake of this video, and I adore it all the same as I did years ago when I saw it for the first time, and even now I still genuinely think it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Oi. An absurdly weird masterpiece, but a masterpiece nonetheless. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and it would really mean the world to me if you dropped a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any other anime, manga, or anything really you'd like me to talk about, let me know down in the comments below. Alright, now the video's over. Why are you still here? What, you expect me to tell a joke or something?
Well, I got some bad news for you. You're going to be waiting a long time for the punchline. Get it? Because the video is about punchline and... Okay, okay, I'll leave now.